Hi, it's Andy from Hobby Headquarters, and now that you watched the video on completing the Whippet tank, what I'll show you now is I'm going to show you how to do a basic diorama, something small and easy to put together, doesn't take very long at all to build, and something to show off your vehicle, something like that, and uh, let's get started. We start our project off by taking a piece of wood that I've actually routed off the edges to give it a nice look to it. I'm going to take some Tamiya masking tape and cover the edges of this so when we put the lightweight hydrocal on, uh, that's the stuff that's going to make the little bit of a hill, it doesn't get into the, the nooks and crannies on the edge. It's not impossible to get out, just going to make it a little bit easier to clean up later on. And then some masking tape around the outside of this will help protect it while we're doing it. Uh, now we're mixing up some hydrocal, and I actually had a rock mold that I was going to use to make the, the leading edge of the, the piece so we can break it up, and it'll give you the impression that there's some rock right inside of that. Now we start the base itself. I actually had some old pieces of uh, ceramic that I just threw into the bottom there to give it a little base, and we're just going to kind of give it a, a basic shape. The first coat that goes on, you don't have to worry about it. It's going to be kind of messy and let that dry and kind of get it to the general shape you want. And we'll come back to the second coat and really finish it off. And as you can see here, I'm starting to add more and more of the coats on it. And then I actually stick in that rock face in the front there as well. And we backfill all that part. And a little bit spills over the edge. And then actually just using my finger and dipping it in water, you can just go over and smooth the entire surface of the, of the piece and get a nice look to it.
Okay, at this point right here, I've done another smoothing coat on here and kind of smoothed out all this surface in here as well. And then what I did a little while ago was after it's all dried, it was a little, it wasn't flat enough to make the, the tank want to, you know, to sit flat. So I took a razor knife and saw it across the top here and we'll kind of blend all that together in a minute. Uh, but this way, and that's actually mostly going to get hidden by the tank as well. So we wanted something nice and sturdy to hold the actual vehicle. Now I've, I've mixed up some earth brown and we're going to just put like a base coat on it of Tamiya paint. And we're going to use a stippling brush like this to kind of get it in there. This, this coat will be a little bit thicker so it soaks into the plaster a little bit more. And then all the subsequent quotes, coats will be done with the airbrush to kind of give it a blending effect. So let's get started on that. And the trick here is we do want it to go on real thick so that if you ever do accidentally chip any of the pieces of paint or excuse me plaster the paint will have at least soaked partially all the way into it and I pulled the masking tape off earlier on it because uh, it was chipping off too much of the paint so we're just gonna be real careful around the edge and anything that gets on the wood we can always sand off a little bit so I decided to change the color of the base to a black to kind of hide some of your flaws sometimes on it. So I just took some a spray can of Tamiya TS6 uh, black and just sprayed the entire uh, the base of it. A little bit got on the edges right there, but I covered them over. What you can see now is with that shape that we we cut down on. Now the vehicle is going to sit more more straight on top of it before it was rocking too much and things. So. That'll be the general idea that we're gonna go for on this base. And then we'll start putting, doing some weathering on the actual ground and doing some vegetation and things like that. So let's get started on the next step. Okay, first step, uh, just like doing the model, we're going to spray the darker brown color inside all the little nooks and crannies and that'll create the shadow effect. Now before I did, after I put that first coat of the brown on, I sealed the entire model with dull coat and all that basically was to do was to keep that if you ever chip anything that more than likely you aren't going to see the white plaster come through this is going to be the actual painting process that was kind of just to give it a, a general base so we're going to spray the whole thing or most of the thing especially in these areas that you'd see shadow with the darker brown and I'm actually going to be using NATO brown 68 that's one of the darker ones and then we'll start putting coats of like 57 buff and some desert yellow, things like that, and kind of mix up and get a nice blend for it. So let's get started on that. You can see as we add different shades of browns and dark yellows and things like that, how it starts to become a more realistic look and giving the blending tones that, that Earth would have.
Now we take some white glue and mix it with water and make a little thinner paste and we're going to apply the grass and we want to get this pretty thick in some areas to make sure the grass stays on. This is just going to be like a grassy hill that the tank is going up. And then when it gets to the edge, because the grass wouldn't grow very well there, you can kind of make it kind of go down in patterns. And when you're applying the glue, just think about how grass grows and kind of clumps sometimes. It's not always a, a whole lawn type look. Okay, and then the way static grass works is by squeezing the bottle, you're creating a static effect that's actually going to make a lot of the grass stand up. Now, don't worry about putting too much on because it's just going to overflow everywhere, but you just dump the excess off after you let it dry for a while. Okay, we're going to let that dry for a bit and come back and work on some of the other stuff. Okay, right now we're gonna we've let some of that stuff dry. Now we're gonna use some different colors like the dark yellow and buff and kind of lighten some of the dark areas there and blend some of the grass and make a little bit look like it's dying and things like that. Okay, one more step we're going to do here that I've started to do. You're going to take a brush, your stippling brush, that's just slightest slight bit of, of dampness to it, and applying some of the desert dust, some Vallejo. We're going to kind of just tap that in here, some of these areas, and break up some of this, these areas that look a little too flat, or too, excuse me, too, too one colors. This will give it a modeled effect that a little more realistic. And 
because the brush is slightly wet, the stuff is going to stick a little better. But when it dries, it'll com be completely flat again and will actually go back to its regular color. The liquid just helps it stick a little better. And I just used a little water on it, actually. Okay, uh, I've done a couple other layers of different types of pigments on it. I used a little natural sienna and a little burnt sienna, just lightly. And as they dry, they start to get even more, more flat and start to blend together. But that'll give you a general idea of how to make a basic base. Uh, now we're just going to add, add the vehicle onto the top there to give it a little bit more scale. Pull back the camera a little bit right there. And we could go ahead and we could do some kind of figure down here on the bottom or some bob wire or something like that. But it's just a simple base to, to set off your vehicle. Uh, just something easy and quick to do. Uh, I'll actually take a picture of it outside because anytime you take any of the scenery and put it outside with natural light, the whole thing pops even more on it. Thank you for watching the video and I hope you enjoyed it and stay tuned because we have more coming.